Okay, hey YouTube, this is uh, Big Mark's World, Mark Stacy here. We're going to do a complete and thorough gimbal calibration and automatic uh, adjustment, uh, manual adjustment of the gimbal. Step through all the steps, the menus, um, and talk about how that affects flight. And then we, uh, if we can, we're going to run out and do a quick flight and see how that affects the uh, gimbal calibration. So. We'll uh, take care of that right now. I'm just sitting here in front of the Femi so we can do the screen recording and get this going a lot quicker. So here we go. First thing you do, we got the Femi set up. I've already leveled and checked level on this table uh, that we're sitting on. I normally have a level out there that I use for this, but I've already leveled this counter and checked the counter that I'm pointing at and all is level, so we can use that as our reference point. So as you can see, just sitting here right now, that countertop is not level. So first things first, uh, we're going to go into settings, we're going to go down to gimbal, and we're going to do a, um, we're just going to reset the gimbal parameters right off the bat because I've had some manual adjustments in there. Got the latest firmware updated, so gimbal parameters are reset, clears everything out, I go into manual adjustment and look at adjust. Everything is set to zero. You can see here on the right hand side, P axis, R axis, Y axis. Okay, you can get out of that. Alright, Gimbal's going to make a quick adjustment. Doing it up and down. And if you noticed, took my adjustments out, that's a little straighter, although it's not exactly straight with that countertop. So, um, we're going to go back in. Go to the gimbal. We're going to go to calibrate and we're going to hit start. One of the things I found while doing this gimbal calibration, uh, where I'm doing it in my uh, actually in the kitchen counter, I walked over and uh, got a bottle of water out of the refrigerator, and my walking on the floor caused the calibration to stop and say, please hold. Still, so just walking on the floor was actually uh, putting vibration into the calibration. Calibration succeed. Did okay. Out, take a look at the screen and as you can see there it's still just a, just a slight off I'm gonna move this up move it down to the grid on the screen and you can see from right to left you can see a little variation I've got this measured exactly true to the edge of that table. And as you can see, it's floated up the side as I had that down right there. And the gimbal's floating. I'm going to hit the down button. And hit it again. Let's see. How that grid line looks to the table now. You can still see that it's off. So now we're going to go in to do a manual calibration. And to hit this, we want to do advanced settings. We hit adjust. And the 
funny part of it is, is when you're going to adjust, if you look at that screen, which I can't move right now, but now the gimbal is actually in a different angle than it was before I started. So I'm going to hit the, uh, the axis change here. You'll be able to watch. So you can see I've overcompensated the other way just so you can see which direction it goes. I'm going to compensate it back. We're at about a minus two on the R axis. And let's just see what happens if I crank up the P axis. So that's the up and down axis. And you can see as I go P axis. I put that right to the edge of the table, kind of pointing down just a hair. That puppy looks pretty darn straight with that table right there. Y axis, left and right. Don't exactly know where center is anyway, so I'm just going to set that to zero. I've not really not noticed a lot of difference in that. We're going to put the p-axis back. Okay. And we've got the our axis set at minus two, which looks just about right. So I'm going to hit save, calibrate. So it's going to store that setting in the parameters. And what I'll tell you is, is every time you do a firmware update and they try to make adjustments to this, it's not going to zero that out. It leaves that number in there. So if they've made firmware calibration adjustments, you're going to need to go back in and set that to zero and then fly it, see what it looks like, or come in here and do a calibration yourself and double check it again. But after you've manually adjusted those numbers, you need to go in and do a calibration and it will store those numbers and use that to calibrate with. Calibration's completed. A few people have been asking about what do we set the gain to. I've not really messed with the gain on this yet, but I'm, I'm planning on trying to do that. I believe right now the gain is set to 100%. I've not really had any gimbal jitter issues, so it says adjusting uh, that value for gimbal jitter, and I've really not had a lot of jitter issues. So that's the entire steps to go through the manual calibration. And let's take this bird up fly and see what it looks like. Okay, we're waiting to get a few satellites uh, going here. Looks like we've got 10. Should be of a, kind of bouncing between eight and 10 right now on the VPU. Let's get the GPS going. Come on, buddy. There we go. Do an auto takeoff. Take it up, see what that looks like. Take it up to a couple hundred feet. Sounds good right there. Got a little bit of wind up there. I can hear it fighting the wind right now. Doesn't look too bad. Got the grid on. Let's look at the grid. It's a little bit of variation, not too much. There's a little bit of slope on, on the, actually the hills out here in the Ozarks of Missouri. 
And we're going to spin it around. Sometimes when you yaw it, the gimbal gets worse. See, there's a hill and then there's a distance hill out there, so it kind of feels it. I'm going to pop it down. We're going to pop it down again. Pop it back up. And you can see it's off by quite a bit. So we're going to give it a little yaw. Usually after you yaw a little while. Now you can look at that and that horizon is pretty damn straight right there. Go ahead and take it up a little higher. Screen up a little there. Spinning around. Let's see how she's doing now. And she's looking pretty good. So once she gets up there, she starts doing some adjustments. That horizon is about perfect. There's my tower. I line that grid line up with the tower float back over here a little bit. Near perfect. And there we go. Just a little bit of a little bit of angle, but more than acceptable in my book. So you can see, once that puppy, when, once he first got up there, horizon was off a little bit. You do a little yaw around, kind of move the gimbal around and let it get itself settled in, and that horizon is pretty flat. Got a beautiful day, some nice looking clouds out there. That's it guys, it's a pretty nice looking horizon. Let's bring her on home. Watch that y'all, still looking good. Horizon looks good and flat.